Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In this week's Parsha, we read the Aseris Dibros, the Ten Commandments. One of the ten is the mitzvah of keeping Shabbos. In honor of that, we will make a beautiful challah cover. Here are the supplies we will need. A printed challah cover template, a thick plastic sheet, 8.5 by 11, two large flexible lightweight clear vinyl sheets at least 10.5 by 13 inch, double-sided tape, scissors, a white paint marker, gold glitter glue, a pen, and lastly, gold glitter. Let's begin. Firstly, you'll need two clear vinyl sheets around 10.5 by 13 inch each. To do that, lay the printed template on top of the two large vinyl sheets. Use a pen to mark a space of approximately one inch around. We want the two large vinyl sheets to be an inch longer and an inch wider than the template on all four sides. As you may know, Hashem created the world in six days and on the seventh day He rested. For this reason, Hashem commanded the Jewish people to rest on Shabbos too. Then cut off the excess plastic wherever you marked it. On Shabbos, we refrain from doing actions that involve creating, such as cutting, cooking, and building. Slide the template under the thick plastic sheet. Tape a couple of the corners to keep the template in place. The question is, why can't we do these types of activities on Shabbos? What's wrong with doing an art project or cooking up a storm? Trace the outline of the entire design with the white paint marker. To answer our question, here's a little story. There was once a boy named Maishi. He went to the local swimming pool one afternoon. The lifeguard gave basic instructions, after which Maishi raised his hand. Can I bring my iPad into the pool? No, Maishi replied the lifeguard. What about my lunch? Sorry, food is not allowed in the pool, Maishi. My book? Nope. To this, Maishi replied, This is absurd. I can't do any of the things I like in the pool. That's it. I'm going home. And off he went, missing out on what could have been a fun family excursion. Now that you have the whole outline, detach the template from the plastic sheet so you can clearly see what you are doing. Next, color in some of the petals, but not all of them, to give it a variety. If you wish to follow the exact way we did it, then fill in the word Shabbos. This story seems quite silly. Obviously, Maishi can't bring any of these items into the pool. The iPad would break and the lunch and the book would be ruined. For Maishi to have fun in the pool, he had to leave these items behind and refrain from using them. Only then would he truly be able to enjoy swimming. This story is an example to help us understand why we can't do certain things on Shabbos. Use a gold glitter glue to fill in more of the petals, while still leaving some of the petals empty. Then let it dry completely. 39 core activities are not allowed to be done on Shabbos. Cutting, cooking, sorting, and building are a few examples. At first glance, this seems crazy. Why can't I do all the things I like? But after hearing the story of Maishi, we can understand. To truly enjoy Shabbos, one must take a break from all these activities. Next, place double-sided tape around the four borders of the thick plastic sheet. Cut off any excess tape that is sticking out. When you stop busying yourself with all types of creative activities, you give yourself the space to truly feel and celebrate Shabbos to the fullest. In this way, you can fully focus on what matters most. Davening, learning Torah, and spending time with family and friends. Now that you've made the edges of the decorated sheet very sticky, stick one of the lightweight plastic pieces onto it. Do your best to ensure that the decorated sheet is at the center of the larger plastic piece. To fully seal in the decorated sheet, attach double-sided tape along three borders of the lightweight plastic piece and attach it to the other plastic piece so that the two pieces are on top of each other with the decorated plastic sheet inside. Here's a question to think about. What are some ways you can make Shabbos special in your home? Pour a nice measure of gold glitter into the pocket that has been created, then close off the fourth side with a double-sided tape. Shake it around a bit to distribute the glitter. And your challah cover is ready. Enjoy! Please like and subscribe and we hope to see you back again next week.